the hype surrounding the upcoming movie, The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson, it's time now to look back at the best performances of the Cape Crusader. Hey, what's up, movie buffs? This is Galaxy from Comic-Con Radio and Spoiler Magazine, and here are the 10 best actors who played Batman. Give it the usual test for invisible ink. I'll change and go entertain Vicky. You better be careful. I think she's beginning to get wise that Batman and Bruce Wayne are the same. Sitting at number 10 is Robert Lowry. Subject to riffing these days, the 1949's New Adventures of Batman and Robin makes the 60s series seem like the Sopranos. Starring in the title role as Robert Lowry, the second actor ever to play Batman. The show has its moments with some fun fight sequences and engaging storylines, but Lowry's larger physique informed much of what the public thought of the Cape Crusader for nearly 20 years. Tell me. Do you bleed? Ben Affleck never quite got his chance to shine as Batman. Now having left the franchise, arguably the best part of Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, the actor played a more disillusioned version of the Dark Knight, something fans had yet to see done properly up to that point. I want a car. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. Next up is George Clooney. With a performance that suffered a bit due to the quality of the films, George Clooney still rose to the occasion in his only outing as Batman in the 1997's Batman and Robin. While he didn't quite bring the charm fans had hoped for, he still echoed a similar campiness from the original TV series and comic books, which, according to some, is one of the highest compliments you can receive. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Just laying down some dope tracks here and didn't see you there. Next up on our list is Will Arnett. Voicing Batman for the Lego Movie franchise, Will Arnett has taken the role to a whole new level. Becoming a sort of parody of the character, the actor infuses his performances with a loving admiration for the Cape Crusader. As great as they are on their own, the movie's greatest moments are often due to Arnett's fun take on the role. Gonna have to go double secret vigilante. What are you? I'm Batman. Sitting at number 6 is Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is a personality all of his own. Tim Burton's first two Batman films are good in their own right, but are very much garnished with Keaton's comedic sensibilities and carefree attitude. Arguably better at being Bruce Wayne than his alter ego, the actor still brought his own trademark style to the role, which helped make the movies unforgettable all these years later. Always remember, Robin, no matter how much in a hurry you may be, always cross streets at the corner. Next up is Olin Soul. For much of the 70s and 80s, when fans saw Batman, they heard the voice of Olin Soul, portraying the Dark Knight and Hanna-Barbera Super Friends, the Batman Superman Hour, and various other programs. The voice actor embodied the role for a 15-year span and became synonymous with Batman for fans of a certain age. Sitting at number 4 is Christian Bale. Christian Bale has the advantage of starring as the title role of arguably the two best Batman films of all time. The actor, known for his flawless performances, gave so much to the role that his aggression became a counterpoint to the campier Batman of the 1960s. A darker and grittier Batman for the modern age, Bale reinvented the character for an entirely new generation. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through Next up is Val Kilmer. When Val Kilmer took over for Keaton's Batman, he had a tall task at hand. Fans loved the first two Tim Burton's Batman movies and wanted to love the third film just as much. While 1955's Batman Forever suffered from a slight lack of focus, Kilmer's effective performance was a definite highlight. Not only did the actor provide a charm as Bruce Wayne, but he created an overlap between the two alter egos, defining who the man behind the mask was and treating him as a separate entity, yet very much part of the same person. Emergency. Batman speaking. Warning all of you to brace yourselves for big news. At number two, we have Adam West. 
As far as live action Batman goes, there is no better than the iconic Adam West. Whether you love or hate the campiness of the 1960s TV series, there is no denying that West informed the public's perception of the Cape Crusader more than any other actor who had the role. With a dedication that's incomparable, the actor possessed a knack for delivering the conviction of Batman with a self-awareness that seeped into the dialogue and allowed him to become synonymous with the character. Don't worry about me. You're needed out there. Coming in at number one is legendary voice actor Kevin Conroy. Having voiced Batman for over 25 years, Conroy first portrayed the character in 1992's Batman the Animated Series. Since then, he's become a fan favorite, performing the character for a variety of TV shows, movies, video games. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. And even a live action performance, very much becoming the definitive voice of Batman for an entire generation of fans. Wait, 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 Batman back in. Forgot to drop the mic. Let us know in the comments if you agree with our list. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more from me, Galaxy, and Comic-Con Radio, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go, and please tickle the bell icon. Go to our website, comiccon-radio.com, and follow us on Instagram, at Comic-Con Radio. And with that said, I love you guys. Mwah! Peace.